Hi, today we're going to talk about a very tasty plant called garlic. All of the information from this presentation I pulled out of this article, which has been done rather recently by some folks in Germany and Canada. Garlic has a really important molecule called allicin, which is responsible for its spicy taste as well as most of its health benefits. Allicin is biosynthesized from allein, which is the storage form of the molecule inside the garlic cell. When this garlic cell is broken down by either being eaten or being attacked by a pathogen, various enzymes will break down allein into allosulfenic acid, and two allosulfenic acids will spontaneously combine via dehydration reaction to form allicin. Allicin is what is, gives the spicy taste of the garlic and is the most reactive defensive form of this particular molecule. All of the enzymes are stored inside the vacuole, and so they are only accessed to break down allium when the cell itself is broken down. Allicin has been shown to be really effective against bacteria and pathogens. Even against pathogens that are resistant to multiple antibiotics, allicin has been shown to be more effective than either of its competitors. In the middle, you can see the effectiveness of allicin in breaking down bacterial growth on this petri dish. So it has a lot of promise in fighting against diseases like malaria that are already resistant to multiple drugs. Scientists reason that the way it's effective is because of its disulfide uh, bridge right here. Basically, these two sulfides can switch out with a sulfur in one of the proteins in the cell. And that kind of that switching out reaction will just mess up the protein. So either it misfolds or breaks down. So Garlic has also been shown to be effective against fungus, which is promising for developing worlds to have a really cheap way to protect their plants. And it has also been shown to stop the production of cholesterol inside the body by basically stopping these enzymes that make cholesterol in the first place. So it's really useful against heart disease. And lastly, it's really useful against cancer by basically promoting the immune system health. And it kind of does some things of stopping cancer from growing. So it has a lot of promising health benefits that I'm not getting into too much detail right now. But basically, the main point is that it's a really cheap alternative to some of the drugs out there. But its drawback is that it's not really specific. It kind of reacts with everything in sight. So there are some clever ways of going around that where people or scientists are trying to introduce allium into the body and then introducing an enzyme that will break it down to allicin at some point later. But all of this comes from our, once again, friends of Earth, which are plants, and their cute little garlic bulbs down here. This is a wonderful plant and a wonderful example of how nature can help humanity.